I decided to go thrifting every day for a week to answer one question. Is it worth it? Will I finish this week with piles of new clothing or will it just be a giant waste of time? Well today we find out. It's way too early for this. And here we are. I arrived at the first thrift store of the challenge. But holy was it busy. Keep in mind, it was pretty early in the morning. Like, what are these people doing here? I knew I had to act fast as they were getting their grubby little fingers and all the good stuff. I first headed to the jeans section where I found a lot of different Levi's. Speaking of Levi's, I also found this denim jacket, but I wasn't really a fan. I then visited one of my favorite sections, the t-shirt sections, where you can find some of the goofiest shirts imaginable, trust me. I've been looking for a nice button-up shirt for the summer to layer, so I headed over to that section, and this shirt here caught my eye, so I decided to take it for now. There were a few more decent options, some even had the tag on them, but nothing all that great, so I moved on. I found this Nike sweatshirt, which would have been sick if someone didn't, like, wipe their nose on it. Man, I swear the most common stain on these sweatshirts is always on the sleeve. I, I don't know what y'all are doing, and I don't want to know. Oh, and I also found this Guess hoodie, but Guess just isn't really my thing. These jeans were pretty cool, but I wasn't too sure about them, so I gave the final decision to my girlfriend, who, well, didn't respond in time. <laughs> Great, this has been going great. I found an abundance of the office tees, snotty sweatshirts, and a minion shirt. How could this be any better? And I also found these bad boys, size 46. I mean, do I look like a size 46? I decided to return the shirt that I had taken. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. And well, that was day one. Ashamed and defeated, I returned to my car. Oh, well, we are empty handed. Here's hoping to tomorrow. Hi. It's day two, or should I say night two, and I, I stupidly have yet to go thrifting. Yeah, I know, it's eight o'clock. What have I been doing all day? Don't ask, don't worry, not thrifting. Anyways, I should get going now. I'll see you guys there. Hopefully I'm walking out the door with something good, or walking to the register or something good, then the door, you know what I mean. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> We rushed to the thrift store for day two, and I say we because I was actually joined by my lovely mother this time, and I definitely didn't just bring her for her credit card. I headed to the shirt section because I was still on the lookout for a nice button up, but I found nothing so I quickly made my way over to the pants. And am I the only one who hates these biker pants with these stupid little knee things? I found these baggy black pants that I really liked. They didn't have a label or anything, which was very mysterious, but I decided to take them anyways. Now these Levi's, oh no, they were so perfect except for the fact that they were actually flood pants. I mean these things were so short, I don't understand. With my grief, I went over to the t-shirts and found, well... <laughs> A Uniqlo shirt though, that was absolutely foul. I mean I don't even want to know what happened to this. The short sleeve shirt section and the sweatpants section had nothing of interest so I went out on a journey to find my mom. I swear, every time you go shopping with your parents, it's impossible to find them. Like, maybe that's just my problem, but they always manage to escape. I mean, I found this chair on the way, which it isn't my mom, <laughs> I don't think at least. I eventually found her in the puzzle section, and we headed out to purchase the pants. Eight bucks, not too bad. She also volunteered to pay, which... <laughs> Great, so the first item bought in this challenge was bought by my mom. But nonetheless, that couldn't kill my vibe because I had finally bought my first item. Yeah. And let me tell you, it felt so good. This challenge was just getting started. It's day three, and after yesterday's success, I'm feeling pumped. I'm really hoping it acts as a catalyst for the rest of the video and keeps the ball rolling, but knowing my luck, it probably won't. Anyways, let's make this one quick because I am ready to go. I'm itching, I'm scratching, I need my dose of thrifting for the day. So yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you guys there. I'm so excited. Clearly amped, I went to a smaller thrift store, hopefully to find some more obscure gems. And I swear, no matter where I go, it's so busy. I had literally had to park in another parking lot. I mean, look how far I was. But I made it in and went straight to the long sleeve shirt section. I was determined to find a good shirt. And surprisingly, I did. I found this blue striped long sleeve shirt that is perfect for the summer. I then went over to the jeans section and found size 24 jeans and some more short Levi's. You know, looking back, I'm starting to think that these were purposely cropped and I'm just an idiot.
Besides my stupidity, there were many jeans that still had their tags on them. And while there was a lot of excitement in the jeans section, the same really couldn't be said about the other pants. I found nothing. One thing I noticed in this brand of thrift store is that they don't really have a distinct t-shirt section like the last ones did. They're also very unorganized when it comes to their sizing, like I feel like I'm having an aneurysm, how do I navigate this? It goes from letters to numbers back to letters. But I managed to find a sweatshirt that I was kinda into, spoiler alert, I, I put it back. But you can watch me carry it around the store like a baby's blanket. If you're looking for a cowboy boots or a construction uniform, then this is the place to be. I tried on some shirts just to make sure they fit properly, and I ended up choosing the blue one. So while I'd say this was semi-successful, we were quickly running out of time. This experiment's not going well, I gotta figure something out. And so on day 4 I came up with a great idea. Well, it wasn't actually mine, my mom gave it to me back on day 2. How about trying some of the thrift stores uh, nearby in some of the other cities? But Traffic had other ideas. Finally, we arrived at this super cool looking thrift store. I mean, look at that roof. For this trip, I was joined by my lovely girlfriend. She's got the crocs out, so you know it's getting serious. She found some teapots, which come in handy later on. You'll see, just wait. Anyways, I started at the jeans section and once again wanted to pull my hair out looking at the sizing. They even had curvy jeans, which <laughs> this had to be in the wrong section. I couldn't find any good shirts either, but I managed to find this super thick black jacket, which would be great if it wasn't summer and I wasn't already sweating wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but nonetheless I really liked it. Here's where things get a little crazy though, so the teapots, you remember those? Basically we pulled out the teapots and we decided that we didn't want a couple of them, however the clerk had already inputted them in, so instead of doing a refund she let me take the black jacket. To summarize, I got this jacket for $9 because of some teapots. Thank you teapots. And while I came out with a new jacket, this one was still extremely disappointing, so I did something I thought I would never be doing. I rewrote the rules. Up until this point, I had been going to one thrift store a day, but now it was time to change that. I had enough of failures and only finding one item, I was gonna return home with the jackpot. So I went to another one and found absolutely nothing. <laughs> I wish this was a bit for the video, it's not, I was so disappointed. What I've realized is that the smaller thrift stores suck for clothing, it doesn't matter what neighborhood you go in, the chances of finding better items doesn't change. <sighs> I'm starting to feel like I'm wasting my time, but let's see what tomorrow holds. It's day 5 and the rules have changed, and also I've given up on small thrift stores. It's time to get serious and redeem myself, so I've lined up two large thrift stores to hit today. So come along with me and let's see what happens. Welcome to the first door. I beelined it towards the jeans section where I found some Tommy jeans and some Dragon Fit jeans, whatever that means. Looking over into the pants section, I found not one, not two, but three pairs of pants from Zara. And then in the long sleeve shirt section, I found this, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what this is either. Nothing was really standing out to me, so I headed over to the t-shirt section and let's just say it was a good laugh. A classic quarantine shirt and a shirt about whales. Followed by some wild shirts by Nike, like Nike who let you make these? This is all worth it in the end as I found this 2006 Elton John tour shirt. And if you look on the back, oh, there's my city. Over in the jacket section I found this sick Snoopy jacket but sadly it didn't really fit me. Lastly I browsed a couple of other sections and found some champion and some old polo. But I was done at this store, so I got the tea and headed out. I arrived at the next door, and this place was massive. I found some Levi's in the jeans section, and nothing really special in the pants section. So once again, I found myself looking through t-shirts. I found a Uniqlo UT, which was very short for some reason. And I thought this shirt was quite funny, there's no way anyone is wearing this. Besides that, I found some more Chien and Ferrari, believe it or not. Oh, and also Amazon. I went to the sweatshirt section where I found this grey H&M quarter zip and it was in really good condition so I took it. I continued to look finding a Space Jam sweatshirt and a Uniqlo fleece for only $13 which I would have got if I already didn't have something similar. I was shocked by how many vans there were here, I counted 3 pairs just at a glance and then there are also these really crusty Air Maxes which I wasn't going to go through the effort of cleaning. Besides that I purchased the quarter zip and that was the end of day 5. 
After yesterday's success, things are starting to look up. But what if I told you that I had a secret weapon this entire time? Curated thrift stores. A curated thrift store is what it sounds like. It's a thrift store, but it's only the good stuff. This makes it so you're almost guaranteed to find something that you like. So if I don't manage to find anything I like, then maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go pick up my girlfriend because I'm already late and she's gonna yell at me. So wish me luck. So this is what a curated thrift store looks like. Definitely more organized and appealing. I immediately went to the t-shirt section where I found this one for $120 and that's when I realized that this wasn't like the thrift stores. I was in the big leagues now. I mean, they had a whole dedicated Harley Davidson section. They also had a sale section, perfect for me, and a new t-shirt section. I eventually found this cool sweatshirt, but once again, the sleeve was grotesque. Like, uh, okay, now I really don't want to know what happened here. How does this even happen? Even at these curated thrift stores, you have to be cautious of worn out or dirty clothes, especially because they still price them up no matter what. And I'll admit, I'll be honest with you guys, I almost fell for the trends and got a Carhartt jacket. I mean, they had so much Carhartt, it was so tempting, but, but I didn't, I didn't. Well, it was time to leave empty-handed because there was no way I was gonna buy a $100 t-shirt, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> about that. You know how I know it was bad? Because the cashier literally took a photo of it for Instagram when I was buying it. Besides this, we visited one more curated thrift shop, which was like a weird fusion of curated and not curated. They had some cool stuff, more new arrivals, but honestly, everything was pretty lame, so we headed out quickly after that. On day 7, I'm not gonna lie, I was tired. I had been to 9 different thrift stores in the past 6 days. So I went to a small local thrift store and they had some interesting things outside and a couple of clothes but I'm not gonna waste your time going through this one. However, instead of moping, I'll show you guys the fun stuff. Alrighty, so first I'm gonna go over the items that I got and then I'm gonna run you guys through my thoughts and my opinions on how the experiment was. So as you probably know, on day one, I went to one thrift store and got absolutely nothing. Luckily, day two was a little more exciting. We went to one thrift store and I got one item, being these black pants. And I'm honestly pretty happy with them. Of course, I need to wear a belt. Otherwise, well, yeah. <laughs> Then on day three, we also went to one thrift store and picked up one item, this blue striped shirt. Once again, I'm really pleased with the fit and I think it'll be a great layering piece for the summer. Day four, I went to two thrift stores and disappointedly only came out with one item. This item was this super thick black jacket, which I won't be wearing anytime soon. But let me tell you when I do finally wear it, it's gonna be sick. Until then, I will look at it from afar. One of the most successful days of this whole experiment was day 5, where we went to two thrift stores and came back with two items. At the first thrift store, I found this black Elton John tour t-shirt, which I thought was really cool. I like the print and the fit is good, however it still has those creases on the sleeves, which gives it this really weird look. But once I wash it, it should be all good. At the second store, I got this gray quarter zip, which I honestly really like. I didn't even try it on at the store, which is something you definitely should be doing. But the fit is great and the look and feel is really good considering it's thrifted. Definitely one of my favorites of the batch. Now on day six, I went to two curated thrift stores and came back with one really expensive t-shirt. It's a little long, so I'm gonna keep it tucked in, but it's okay because I really love the print and all the rest of it. And lastly, on day seven, as you all know, we went to one thrift store and got nothing. On my journey, I visited a total of 10 thrift stores and found six items coming out to roughly $150. Keep in mind that one item was $100, so if you take that out of the equation, then $50 for five items isn't too bad at all. This leads me onto my thoughts, so I'm gonna be 100% truthful and keep it real with you guys for a second. If you're going to the thrift store to find hidden gems, then you are probably wasting your time. Now hear me out. I spent around 15 hours in the thrift store this past week and I only came out with 6 items. I could just be picky, like that's, that's very possible, but for me personally, I want to find items that fit my style and are still in really good condition. Items that I can wear and won't be returned back to the thrift store. 
If you're going to the large scale thrift stores such as Goodwill or even the smaller local ones, most likely you won't find anything of interest. On the flip side, if you go to a curated vintage shop, you will find some really cool things, just it'll be way more expensive. You pay the price for the convenience and better selection. Now, of course, I'm not saying that thrifting is bad and that you shouldn't do it. Just know that there is a risk when you go to these places that you might come out empty handed. Thrifting is still amazing for the environment and fashion landscape as a whole because it promotes reusing and recycling clothes. I feel that now that it has become trendy, people are making it into something that it really just isn't. It isn't an easy way to find hidden gems for cheap, but what it is is a very fun experience and it's really rewarding when you find something you like. It's a little bit like gambling, you might hit big or you might come out with nothing. This experiment has been very interesting for me personally and I hope that you guys have found it just as interesting. I encourage you guys to go out thrifting every now and then because, well, who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. And on that note, if you are looking for a new sneaker to add to your rotation, then you can check out this video right here. Anyways, thank you guys, bye.